Hello, I'm Dr. Johannes Singh. So you have been asked to go for a nasal endoscopy. You're wondering, what is a nasal endoscopy? Why do I need this? And what happens during this procedure? A nasal endoscopy is a procedure that is performed to examine your nasal cavity and sinuses. It helps your doctor to diagnose conditions in your head and neck region. When will an ENT doctor recommend this procedure? A nasal endoscopy is usually offered when you have the following symptoms. Nasal congestion or blockage, a decreased or loss of ability to smell, sinus inflammation or infections, nasal allergies, nasal polyps, nosebleeds, and finally, difficulty speaking and swallowing. You may also require this procedure when your doctor detects an anomaly in your nasal cavities or recommends a biopsy of abnormal nasal tissue. At times, it may be used to remove a foreign body, such as a fish bone stuck in your throat. This procedure will be performed on the same day of your consultation in the ENT clinic. Come, let me show you how a nasal endoscopy is done. We are in a typical procedure room and you will be on an examination chair or bed. A local anaesthetic spray may first be administered into your nose and we have special equipment to perform this procedure safely for you. During a nasal endoscopy, a thin telescope will be passed through your nostril. Your doctors will examine your nasal cavities, throat and voice box. In your nasal cavities, your doctors will look out for swellings of your nasal tissue, deviation of the nasal septum that separates your left and right nostrils, or any abnormal masses that may be present. Your throat and voice box will be checked for abnormal growths. This procedure usually takes a few minutes or longer depending on your condition. Now, these are questions my patients commonly ask. Yes, you will still need to have a nasal endoscopy done to evaluate why your nose is blocked. And if there are any abnormalities such as swelling of your nasal tissue or septal deviations that may be contributing to your blocked nose. Don't worry, it's really not that painful. A local anesthetic may be sprayed into your nose and you may only feel a slight discomfort during this procedure. A nasal endoscopy is generally safe. Complications like a nosebleed may occur, but this is generally uncommon. The risk of a nosebleed may be elevated if you're on medications to thin your blood. Even then, it should be minimal. If you develop a nosebleed, please let your doctor know. You can eat and drink normally before the procedure. Most patients will not need to stop their course of blood thinning medication. However, you may be advised to stop if you are doing a biopsy. Please consult your doctor or nurse. You may continue with your daily activities. If an anesthetic was used, do avoid drinking hot drinks or soup for 4 hours. Your doctor or a nurse will also advise you on the do's and don'ts post-procedure. After the procedure, your doctor will discuss the findings and your treatment plan with you. Thank you for watching 